effect of substituent on dipymethane rearrangement. To understand the effect of substituent on dipymethane rearrangement, I have taken this substrate. The first carbon is not substituted, whereas uh, the other terminal is substituted. And this is a typical substrate that would undergo dipymethane rearrangement. When you shine light on this compound, this double bond as well as this double bond undergo homolysis and a bond would be formed between these two carbon atoms and you can see here a bond is formed between these two carbon atoms and a radical is formed. Now this diradical intermediate can react in two ways, one the bond between this carbon and this carbon can cleave which is represented as A and the bond between this bond this carbon and this carbon can cleave which is represented as B. Now which bond would cleave whether it would be according to A or according to B. When it happens according to A what happens is you get a double bond here and a radical here you can see here a double bond here and a radical here. If it takes place according to B you will get a double bond here and a radical here so you can see here a double bond here and a radical here. Now, in order to find out which of these two would take place, we have to compare the stability of the diradicals that is formed. And you can see here this diradical as tertiary free radical. So, this is uh, a tertiary free radical, this is also a tertiary free radical, whereas here in this diradical, one is a tertiary free radical, the other one is primary. So, certainly this is more stable and hence the reaction would take place according to A and when these two carbon atoms the free radicals recombine you get the major product. Now let us see what would happen if uh, there is no substituent at carbon 3. So you, here you do not have substituent. It is also a 1,4 diene there is no doubt. So when you shine light on this compound you get a diradical like this. And we expect that this pi bond also would undergo homolysis and a bond formed between these two carbon atoms like this to give this diradical. But this does not happen because when this happens, this diradical has to cleave, this cyclopropane ring has to cleave. So, when this cleaves, what happens is you get a diradical like this. You can see here this is also a primary radical and this is also a primary radical. So, this diradical is not stable. So, this uh, sort of substrate will not undergo dipymethane rearrangement. Instead, what happens is hydrogen atom shift, uh, shift from this carbon to this carbon as a radical to give a rearranged diradical. And a carbon carbon bond would be formed between this carbon and this carbon resulting in the formation of a substituted cyclopropane. Although this product seems to be like that of uh, dipymethane rearrangement, it is not so because the mechanism is totally different. Thank you.